I am not alone in the things that I am doing at, uh, at Quad County. Uh, you know, we've got a group of people that, you know, are involved in this process as well. So if we just look on the scale of our plant by itself, um, I'm not the only one already when we just look at a, a radius of 150 feet around me at work. But then as we start to pull out and you start seeing the other ethanol plants, you know, within the county and then the state and then beyond to the nation, uh, within each one of those plants, there's people every day that are looking for new ways, new combinations that they can, that they can use to try and produce more ethanol or more corn oil and to do it on less energy as well. There's a lot of innovation going on throughout the heartland in the Midwest. And one of the reasons why you don't hear so much about it or see so much about it is we're, we're kind of distributed out. You know, you, you don't go up to an office building in Holstein or Galva, Iowa that might have a staff of 20 engineers and 30 scientists, you know, working on new things. You know, it's a few people here and a few people there. And, uh, you know, within that, there's collaboration between all of these folks. The spirit of innovation, it's alive and well. And, you know, I would like to, you know, also state that this isn't something new. You know, as a kid, I had neighbors that, you know, took two corn planters and put them together to get the row spacing narrowed up uh, just to run it as an experiment. And, you know, nobody paid them to do that. There was no grant money, nothing like that. Just something that they did in their machine shed over the winter and gave it a shot the next spring.